Welcome back to the Outspoken Show, number 555 podcast in the world. We have been downgraded because we've been unable to plan an episode. We didn't have access to the studio during the week and haven't booked any guests, haven't got anything recorded with the boys. So unfortunately, you just get me and I have an empty chair to my right and that's fucking it. Emergency press conference, so I thought I'd go over a few things. Emergency press conference. I thought I would use this time, because I I wanted to still upload something and we'll have a few games in a couple of minutes, uh, just to, we're fucking entertainers, entertainment, something like that. So, what's happening with the podcast is we are called The Outspoken Show. We were formerly number five podcast in the world, currently sitting 555 until we can record another fucking episode so right now we're waiting to get back into the fifth spot but we're called the outspoken show uh as you know i am moving currently living in brisbane i'm moving to toronto in canada so obviously there's a bit of distance and a bit of time zone between the locations there so and with everything that's been going on in dinner's life he's stepping back as well as I'm also relocating. So I guess the way the podcast worked is uh, everything was pretty much paid for or time spent on it was by me, but I wanted Dinor to be there for every single part of it. And everyone else we sort of had on as friends, I wanted them to be part of the podcast too. But um, but yeah, so I guess I sort of set it up initially so that something like this could happen if if we were to split up. There was no awkward sort of Oh, well, we've split up the pieces and the equipment sort of is, is both of ours. So it was set up, I guess, in a way that this could happen. And it is, which I'm, to be honest, mixed emotions because I'm super, super excited. I'm going on a sort of bender with the boys for three weeks, going around America, catching up with a few mates, watching them play tennis in college, um, and then going to Canada, <clears throat> which is going to be a whole new experience. It's going to be fucking awesome. I'm super excited for that. But I'm also disappointed because potties with the boys are so much fun. Uh, I think last time we cracked a couple of beers on the potty. So like, shit like that I just miss. Uh, there's no there's no two ways about it. And I won't be able to do that with the time zone. I don't know what it is. So I think I'm, it's 6 p.m. here, something like that. And it's probably like 2 a.m. in Canada. So it sort of just doesn't work. It's It couldn't really be worse, I think, in terms of time zone in the world. So... I guess that's what it is. I'm actually renaming the podcast as well. So I thought with this relocation, I'd try and rebrand it a little bit. While I'm getting set up in Canada, it'll be a lot of just episodes of me and guests. Probably only that, if I can again figure out how to book a guest. I somehow just lost that skill. That's not a particularly hard skill either. That will be probably the direction the podcast goes for the time being. Maybe I make a couple of friends in Canada and maybe I bring them on the show. We'll figure that part out. But I think I'm going to call a pod. I was never that happy with the Outspoken show because I never felt like we were that outspoken and it sort of took away from other topics that we could talk about because it's such a very big, scary, daunting name. So I'm going to call the show Lukewarm. Obviously that refers to the temperature. It's like, eh, it's not bad. It's not hot. Like, it's warm, but it's not hot. So lukewarm. And uh, in case you didn't know, there is Luke. Oh, shit, I've just forgot a haircut. Back on the pot, I, f- I fucking forgot I had a haircut. And obviously my hair has not been cut yet, but I will be going to that soon. I just quickly rescheduled that. So, yeah, I think we're changing the name to lukewarm. I'm going to be posting a few images of logos and designs on the Instagram, on the TikTok, just to sort of get your ideas from it. I've even been posting some polls just to sort of see what you guys want from the show, whether you want us to be speaking athletes, mad dogs, entertainers, business people, what sort of people you want to be seeing on the show. Um, But I guess also probably, so once I get to Canada, there'll be one episode a week, which will be an interview with one of those, probably four groups of people. I guess that's sort of it. Um, And then one episode that, because I've been working on my comedy, I want to sort of take an episode to just work on a couple of topics or work on some ideas because that's what Bill Burr does. He's a very well-known comedian. He has his Monday morning podcast and he uses that as a time to 
figure out ideas and bits in his head, and it's sort of a rant, but it's also just him sort of conceptualizing and verbalizing what he's been thinking about and observing, and whether that actually has potential. So when he does that, that's entertaining. I don't know how that will be when I do that, but that will be like a 10, 15 minute show. That will be probably just audio only as well. And that will be the plan. Um, I wrote down a couple of things that I sort of found interesting. Um, actually, I'll, I'll continue on Canada for a minute because I'm, as I'm super excited about Canada, it's also sort of, it's a weird feeling leaving everyone and everything here in Australia because I'm so fortunate that I do have so many friends and amazing family. It feels very weird and doesn't make any sense really to leave that. It, yeah, it, that doesn't make sense to me. Why would I leave that? So that's it's, it's a sort of not scary but sad part that you're not ending friendships, but it's it's very hard to continue friendships and keep growing those relationships that you've got here while overseas. So that's pretty sad, but I'm also so excited to go. Um, so I guess that was probably the flip side that I didn't talk about before. I realized the other day that we've got a word, an Australian word called piss. And that wasn't what I realized. <laughs> but what I realized was the word piss is the exact same thing that you do. You urinate piss. But if someone offers you piss, you jump at that offer. You're like, the boys are offering me piss. Like, fuck yeah. Like, yeah, we'll drink some piss tonight. Fuck yeah. But hang on, I need to go for piss. Whoa. Is that, is that not weird that something that we excrete and something that we consume are the exact same name? Like, if you're a tourist, what are you thinking? They fucking, they come to Australia and go, man, they're crazy. I don't know what the accent this is. Man, they're crazy. They, they drink their piss. They drink their piss. It's fucking insane. And then they, they eat it too. I hear them say it's a piece of piss. It's a piece of, like, that doesn't even make sense just now thinking about it. A piece of piss. Because in both forms, piss is either urine or liquid. But then they, it was a piece of piss, as if you ate it. To me, that's a, that's, a, that's a term where you eat something, a piece of piss. You eat a piece of, a, a piece of pie. Like, that's a food. It's, that's the only way that could be consumed, a piece of piss. I mean, a piece of pie doesn't even really make sense when you think about it. How else do you consume a pie? You consume it in full. It's not a slice of pizza. A piece of pizza makes sense, a slice of pizza, because you consume a part of it. But you don't consume a piece of a pie. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? Like, what's a piece of a pie? That doesn't even really make sense. But I thought I would play a game of overrated and underrated. So, I'm going to run through some ideas. Our producer has collated a list of top uh, things to, for me to review, and are they overrated or underrated? <clears throat> Tim Tams. Tim Tams are underrated, severely underrated, because it's a chocolate layered biscuit with some moussey shit in the middle. It's actually phenomenal. The crunch of the biscuit inside sort of takes away from the sweetness of the chocolate on the outside. It's amazing. Oranges. Severely underrated. The amount of juice do you get from an orange is second to none. No fruit is as juicy as an orange is other than a watermelon, but it's water. Oranges are the, probably the best thing as well. And if you don't have oranges with pulp, you're probably a psychopath. And it's honestly a red flag. If, a, if someone like if a girl didn't want pulpy juice, come on, like really I'm skeptical there. Um, the next one is AFL, Australian Football League. Adequately rated. Because it's actually a fucking awesome sport to watch. It's very simple to watch. It's a ball that gets kicked around, passed around, and if you catch the ball on the full, you get to pause and pause the game and uh, you get to gather yourself. But in Melbourne, it's so, it's so overrated. 
I don't know, it's... I feel Australia isn't very a nationalist, if that's the word, whereas America is. But when it comes to AFL in Melbourne, then we're like America in that sense. Because no one's as passionate about Australian football leagues as uh, Melbourne is. Sort of like Americans are with American football. So I'd say it's adequately rated because it's a fun thing to play. But, yeah, adequately rated. The next one are Cactus. Cactus is fucking awesome. It's amazing. Like, first of all, I'm not a plant guy, which is the plant for you. Cactus is the plant for you if you're not a plant guy. Because you forget to water them. So it's the optimum thing. Like, and it, a cactus is pretty fucking lit, to be honest, if you ask me. A cactus is an amazing thing. A tripod. The best. Underrated. We're on one right now. We're, I'm chatting to you on the tripod. <laughs> Nothing better. A UE Boom. Severely underrated just because of its portability and loudness. I think that's probably the most valuable thing about a portable speaker is its loudness. No one gets too concerned about noise quality, but loudness is number one. Meat pie. Severely underrated. I mean, something that is that compact and a meal, I mean, come on, it's the best. The best thing in the world. Can be too hot at times, you've got to be careful, you don't want to sear your tongue and sort of get those little bumps on the, on the ridges or the edge of your tongue that you do if you bite into a meat pie because it stores the heat. It's a container for heat, so until you sort of flip the top off, you've got to be very careful. It's dangerous, but that's, I guess, why they designed a tomato bottle, tomato sauce bottle in that uh, shape so they could pierce a meat pie. I'm guessing why else would it be shaped like that? I don't know, that only makes sense to me. Tennis, severely underrated. Uh, it's a very high energy sport, and the, the back and forth, sort of just the way my hand is backing and forthing, super high energy, amazing to watch. And it also brings out great people and competitiveness because it, the margins are so small. Volleyball, awesome. Uh, actually, I'd, I'd say volleyball is adequately rated. I would say it's underrated because it is very underrated. But it only is good when you've got Swiss or Venezuela, like that Swiss, European, South American group playing. That's when it's good. So the Olympics are perfect for that. At the Olympics time, it's underrated. The next one is iPhones. I mean, that is overrated but adequate. The amount of Apple obsessed people is obscene and absurd, but it's sort of adequate in that they are great. There's probably other devices better than them, but I don't think Apple, like no one does it like Apple does. Anyway guys, thank you for tuning into this emergency episode of the Outspoken Show to be lukewarm podcast. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you've made it this far. We'll see you back on the tripod with an actual episode.